have very deliberately called these the Research Output Outputs Awards um, in uh, for the 2020 round. Um, and the reason for that is that we acknowledge that uh, publications and postgraduate students, of course, is what are two of the most important currencies um, for a research intensive university such as Stellenbosch and that we really want to acknowledge the incredible hard work, incredibly hard work that went into the production of all these publications and the graduation of so many doctoral students that we celebrate here today. And it is really wonderful to be able to celebrate something again um, after being mostly in crisis management mode uh, for the most of last year. So um, it really is a privilege and a pleasure to welcome you. Um, we know that this these outputs take incredibly hard work um, from my division side. We are intimately involved in supporting you to to produce these outputs, but eventually the pressure is on each and every, every academic in terms of publications, producing publications and graduating doctoral students and postgraduate students. So we want to acknowledge your incredibly hard work through these awards and celebrate you um, today. Of course, we know, and I'm sure Eugene will elaborate more on that, that Stellenbosch University is one of the most research productive universities in the country for a large number of years in terms of weighted outputs per capita. And your contributions have helped us to, to reach and maintain that position. And I really want to thank you for that. We know, of course, that numbers, while they are easy to count, is not the only thing that counts. So, of course, there's an, uh, there's an increased and continuous focus on impact and quality of our research outputs. But the quality in these awards come in in that we know that we have quality staff at this university, quality academic staff who regard also the quality of their doctoral students and the quality of their publications as utmost of utmost importance. Um, we have gone through the, the doctoral evaluation process last year uh, where they evaluated the doctoral program of the, of the universities as a whole through the CHE. We're still awaiting for the outcome of that, but I think through that we've also seen um, in our self-evaluation report the immense um, strength of Stellenbosch University's doctoral program. So it's nice to be able through these awards to also acknowledge doctoral outputs. Um, in terms of publications, of course, we very much rely on quality peer review. We rely on the DHET's measures to ensure quality. They've got an increased focus on that. And then it's also remarkable to see how many of our awardees are also strongly acknowledged through the NRF rating process. So it all comes together today, I guess, to celebrate the numbers of your outputs, um, your students and your publications, but also the quality of those outputs. So welcome and please enjoy the brief um, uh, basking in, in the glory of your of these awards. Um, and without further ado, I would give over like to give over to Professor Eugene Kluter. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Verena, for those kind words. Um, <laughs> I, before I say a few words and announce uh, all of the awardees, I would like to now ask our uh, Vice Chancellor and Rector uh, to say a few words. Uh, Professor De Villiers, it's over to you. Uh, thank you very much, Eugene, and thanks, uh, Tarina. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so pleased to have this opportunity to contribute to this recognition award for our researchers for their research output awards. And as uh, Tarina said, yes, we're um, basking uh, in the glory, but in fact, the institution is basking in your reflected glory. So we're so pleased of all the tremendous hard work that that you've that you've all done and what you have achieved. And it's a real pleasure to say a, a few words at, at this event. You've you've managed to continue to deliver outstanding work despite the challenges created by the COVID-19 pandemic last year and ongoing this year. Uh, I know that, that this year's awards cover the 2018 publications and the 2019 doctoral graduates, but I'm going to speak mainly about 2020 and the ongoing sterling efforts. So it was a year which everything was uncertain and it was incredibly difficult to focus and forge ahead. So we all know that research is very demanding at the best of times. It is demanding and this was made even more difficult by, by this. But I can honestly say I have, uh, over the last number of years, I've co-supervised a, a postdoc and a 
a PhD student that we've just successfully uh, defended a thesis and a, a number of, of, of researchers uh, with uh, Professor Risha Pretorius and Professor Anamart Engelbrecht. And I can tell you that research may be demanding, but it's also exhilarating, absolutely exhilarating. It's the best, best part of my week is when I have a, a, a discussion with my uh, students, uh, researchers, and and these professors, and just throwing around ideas, and and uh, so I I fully understand and appreciate the but the difficulties of research, but also the wonderful wonderful uh, rewards that it has. And what you've shown shown in this past year is resilience in the face of of this adversity. You continue to publish in accredited journals across all disciplines. So just a Few figures in uh, that there was a clear upward trend already evident by the third quarter of last year. So in 2019, a total of 2,613 articles were indexed in Scopus for the period January to October 2019. And this increased by 150 over the same period in 2020. So from 2,613 to 2,763. So a, a, a great input in uh, increase in, in output. And yes, yeah, certainly the emergence of the coronavirus stimulated this output. Uh, we've had picked up more than 300 COVID-19 related articles by SU associated authors. And that was picked up by a library and information services on Google Scholar from April to October last year. And it's, it's clear that you've, you've taken the the, the challenge and you've uh, uh, risen to it and you've uh, and you've very and you've performed performed extremely well now it may be also a case and and I can certainly attest to it um, that that you dusted off some of those articles that languished in in in, in desk drawers and polished them and submitted them um, and I can certainly also attest to some of these actually never seeing the light of day and, and forever I'm, 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 I'm regret that. And it reminds me of the saying in, in U.S. basketball, you know, the, the, only, the only shot you're not going to make is the shot that you don't take. And, and really, and that's, that speaks for uh, article submissions as well as grant applications. The only grant application, grant that you not going to receive, absolutely not going to receive, is the one that you do not submit. Um, again, in the last uh, number of opportunities that have come our way over the last uh, year, and even over the last few days, we received notice yesterday that the UKRI, United Kingdom Research and Innovation Fund, they're making some funds available for uh, funding South African centers of excellence, and that call will go out uh, very soon. So. Um, lots of opportunities also uh, coming along. So I've always been impressed by our researchers and with their innovation and the real world impact that they have. And as you know, that is one of the themes of our Vision 2040 is research for impact. And you've shown that this is not just an empty slogan in many examples of this over the last year, turning from um, just a few examples, turning stale bread into alcohol-based hand sanitizer, our technologists deploying robots in COVID-19 wards to support the specialists, our engineers printing 3D ventilator parts and protective gear for healthcare workers. These are just a few of these. And I know that many of you have had to change your approach and to adapt research activities within these COVID-19 guidelines. And we really want to thank you for your willingness to change and you've actually flourished in new and bold ways and shown resilience and adaptability. So um, we look at these past successes, great records in terms of both publication output and doctoral graduates that were delivered. But we also look to the future. This is clearly not a sprint. It's a marathon. Um, and I humbly ask you to keep challenging yourselves, to keep pushing forward in your quest for knowledge and truth. And this quest is very much so because remember that we, the three, three legged importance is that we aim for local relevance, you've clearly shown that in our research, regional impact and global competitiveness. And through 
the publication of your research, what you've done, new knowledge generated at SU is transferred to a wider audience and really a wider audience globally and having an impact. So my heartfelt congratulations to, on behalf of the whole university, to our 50 researchers rece receiving awards today. Well done. I'm in awe of you. I'm impressed. And I'm there with you. Thank you so much and well done. Thanks, Eugene. Uh, thank you, uh, Professor De Villiers, uh, for those kind words. Um, and uh, it's uh, it's good to have your support. Uh, you've got a passion for research. Uh, we all know that. Uh, it's also impressive uh, that you still have students. Uh, I know that one of them defended uh, her thesis earlier this week successfully. So that's very uh, encouraging. And like you say, um, it is exciting. Uh, when you talk about research and when you sit down with the postgraduate students and the professors. But for me, uh, today is quite special uh, in that we can acknowledge uh, the research outputs of our researchers. Uh, for me, it really is a, a privilege uh, to serve the university in my capacity as the Vice Chancellor, Deputy Vice Chancellor for Research, Innovation and Postgraduate Studies, and an honor to be associated with uh, the colleagues that we have here today and others uh, who also uh, do a huge amount of good work at the university. So this year, when we started the process, and at the outset, I also would like to thank Mareka hunter Esselman and the DRD for helping us to organize today, uh, also for going through all the statistics um, and coming up with the final selection. Um, then the one thing that uh, I can tell you is that uh, the competition, if you wish, uh, to receive this award, which is now the ninth year that we have these awards, uh, that, that is pretty tough. Uh, if we can get the next slide, uh, then you know, you'll see that the cutoff point, for instance, uh, for, the, uh, uh, the, for this round in terms of the DF, accreditation was 4.45 units. Now, of course, to produce 4.45 units, you have to produce at least three times the number of publications because normally these publications are co-authored and so forth. The other interesting observation is that when I look at the list of uh, recipients today, then I'm sure that there are some of you that will receive this award now for the ninth time in a row. Uh, and that's wonderful because it shows that the motivation is sustained. The other lesson that I've learned, uh, having been at universities now for 35 years uh, and in management positions for quite a, a large part of those years, the wonderful thing about a university is that you work with highly motivated people. It is not like organizations or companies uh, in the industry where you have to continually have programs to motivate your staff. It is something unique about academics. They are highly self-motivated. And I know that they do not work with this acknowledgement that we are giving you today in mind. This is not why you are doing this. You are doing this because you have passion for what you do. Uh, you want to make a contribution, not only to the publication and the research, but as Professor de Villiers indicated, also to impact uh, on society. And, and we have seen that uh, in, in your research efforts. So uh, thank you uh, from my side uh, for these efforts. Uh, I want to also congratulate all of you, uh, but mostly thank you uh, for your sustained motivation and contribution uh, towards taking Stellenbosch University towards its vision of being a research intensive university. There will be 25 awards today, for instance, uh, that we will hand out to supervisors of more than three graduated PhDs. And we had a record number of PhDs for the year 2019-2020 of 361 PhD graduates. And that is due to the efforts of the people that we have in the room here today. So thank you very much uh, for taking your time out uh, for joining us, uh, and I'm looking forward now uh, to announce the names uh, of the uh, of the awardees, and we can move to the next slide. 
These uh, will come uh, in alphabetical order. Um, in my report to Senate, uh, there's a, a bit more detail on each of your contributions, uh, which I'm not going to read out today due to the, uh, the, the limitation we have here uh, in terms of, of time. Uh, but uh, it is absolutely impressive if we look at the, uh, the contribution that this group has made. So our first awardee uh, for PhDs delivered is Professor John Akudugu. Well done, Professor Akudugu. Thank you. Then Professor Alexander Anderson uh, will receive recognition for publication outputs, unit outputs. Well done, uh, Professor Anderson. Thank you very much. Then Professor Jason Beinkes, uh, of course his work we all know uh, has got a lot to do with student well-being uh, and how they experience uh, campus and so on. And it's helped us a lot in terms of our own understanding. Um, he also gets recognition for the number of publications and publication unit output. Uh, well done, Professor Beinkes. Thank you, Professor. Then Professor Len Barber, uh, he will receive recognition uh, for the number of publication and publication units. Also one of our A-rated scientists uh, on campus and constantly delivering at a very high level uh, when it comes to uh, research, uh, research outputs. Well done, uh, Professor Barber. Then uh, Dr. Botma. Uh, also, uh, and he's with journalism, uh, also recognition for publication units. Uh, congratulations. Thank you, Professor. Then Professor Runel uh, Berger uh, in uh, the Department of, of Economics. Um, and there uh, she will get recognition for the PhDs delivered. Well done, Professor Berger, and nice to have you in the meeting. Thanks. Then Professor Mark Cotton, uh, good morning uh, also to you, Professor Cotton, welcome. Uh, he's with Pediatrics and Child Health. Uh, and uh, I know for sure this is not the first time that he's receiving uh, this recognition. And today it is for the number of publications and uh, PhDs delivered. Uh, well done and congratulations uh, with this achievement, uh, Professor Cotton. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Professor Nuran Davids in Education and Policy Studies. Uh, she is recognized for the number of publications and publication units. Uh, well done, uh, Professor Davids. Uh, always nice to talk to you and uh, to listen to your ideas. Uh, and thanks for the contribution you make also in the Faculty of Education. And well done. Congratulations. Thank you, Professor. Then uh, we have Professor Wayne Derman, uh, orthopedic surgery and also the director of the Institute for Sports and Exercise Medicine. Uh, we uh, just this week had a discussion uh, on the Institute and things are going extremely well there. He's got some very good postdoctoral fellows and uh, PhD students. He's recognized for the number of publications. Uh, Wayne, well deserved and congratulations. Then Professor Ronnie Donaldson in Geography and Environmental Science, uh, recognition for publication units, uh, and congratulations also to you, uh, Professor Donaldson. Professor Anton Duplessis um, in the Department of Physics, and he also heads up our unit uh, in the Central Analytical Facilities, uh, the CT scanner unit there, um, and being both in the department and also at the Central Analytical Facilities, uh, I must compliment him uh, on the research output that he uh, brings to uh, the university, where this is not his primary function, but part of what he does uh, in the CT scanner unit. Uh, well done, Professor Duplessis. You are recognized for the number of publications and publication units uh, today. Well done. Thank 
Then, uh, Professor Stan Duplessis, um, you will notice, colleagues, that, that they're in the rectorate uh, and with Professor Duplessis being there, um, that uh, you not only does the rector continue with uh, research activities, but so does uh, Professor Stan Duplessis. Uh, congratulations, uh, Stan, uh, on being recognized for the PhDs delivered and knowing what your, your, your diary looks like. Uh, and the responsibilities that you carry as the chief operating officer at the university, I must say this is a very impressive. Uh, and I also know that this is not the first time that you are receiving this recognition uh, since you've become the chief operating officer of the university. So uh, well done and congratulations, uh, Professor Dublisi. Uh, Eugene, thank you very much. It's tremendously kind. I appreciate it. Then uh, uh, Dr. Anton Ehlers, uh, who's uh, in the history department, um, he's recognized for publication units. Uh, well done, uh, Dr. Ehlers, and good to have you here, uh, and uh, congratulations. Then uh, Professor Karin Esler, uh, who's with Conservation Ecology and Entomology, um, also, uh, Great contribution in terms of number of publications and publication units. Uh, well done uh, with this, and we recognize you for your contributions, Karen. Uh, congratulations. Professor Aslam Fattar with Education Policy Studies. Uh, good morning to you also, uh, Professor Fattar. Uh, great to have you here, and uh, again, congratulations. Uh, on receiving this award. I think you might even one, be one of the recipients that have received this award since its inception. Uh, well done and congratulations. Good to see you. Thank you, Professor. Then we have uh, Professor Yuan uh, Furi. Uh, Professor Yuan Furi is acknowledged. He's in the Department of Economics uh, for publication uh, units. Uh, I might also add that uh, we learned earlier this week that uh, Professor uh, Yuan Furi uh, received a B1 NRF rating, and I would like to congratulate him uh, with that, um, making a big contribution in the faculty there, and he's recognized for publication outputs. Uh, congratulations, Professor Furi. Professor Jan Gorgens uh, in process uh, engineering uh, is recognized in two categories here uh, for the number of publications and PhDs delivered. Uh, and there are a few of you that are recognized in both of the categories of publications and PhD delivered. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we recognize you in terms of financial terms only once uh, because of my budget that is also limited, but well done uh, and congratulations. Nice to see you in the meeting and good luck uh, with the endeavors uh, in 2021. And this goes for everyone and uh, well done and congratulations, Johan. Then Professor Grobelaar uh, in industrial engineering. Um, she is recognized for the number of PhDs delivered also uh, starting to play uh, a very important role in the School for Data Science and Computational Thinking. Um, big contribution, great career. Well done, uh, Professor Groblad. Thank you. Then we have Professor Lindy Heineken, who's with Sociology and Social Anthropology. Um, and she's recognized for the number of PhDs delivered. And congratulations also to you, uh, Professor Heineken. Professor Anneke Essling with the CBTBR uh, in, the, in the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences. Uh, she's in charge of a very, very big program looking at HIV and uh, tuberculosis uh, and um, even given the huge administrative role that she has to play in leadership role, she continues to publish and we recognize you for the number of publications. Congratulations, Annika.
Professor Kang Yui, uh, he is in the, the Department of Mathematics, one of our excellent modelers on campus, um, and um, he's played an important role also to help us understand COVID-19 from a modeling perspective. Uh, he's an excellent mathematician. Uh, we recognize him both for the number of publications and publication units. Perhaps just to explain the difference there, we acknowledge the number of publications, also the irrespective of publication units. And the reason for that is that we do not want to disqualify anyone that is collaborating uh, with uh, people outside of the university. On the contrary, we want to encourage that, uh, especially with international uh, collaborations and international co-authors. Uh, so we take into consideration the number and also the publication units. So well done, uh, Kang. Uh, great to to have you at the university and congratulations. Thank you, Professor. Professor Ashraf Kakhir uh, in the Department of Psychology. Um, you will see that he's also acknowledged there for the number of publications and publication units. I also know, Professor Kakhir, that this is not the first time uh, that you are receiving this recognition, like many others in the audience today. But again, uh, well done. Thank you for your contribution and congratulations. Thank you, Professor. Professor Bert Klimpermann uh, with Chemistry and Polymer Science, uh, one of our Saatchi chairs um, that now has come to an end after 15 years. Fortunately, he will be staying on at the university as a professor in Chemistry and Polymer Science in the Faculty uh, of Science. Um, I've walked quite a long road with Bert since I joined the university as uh, the dean and also later on in my current position. We have published together, we have patented together, we have also supervised students together, and uh, he has got a, a fondness for his students, irrespective of whether he is in South Africa or in the Netherlands, where his family still resides. But thank you for your contribution. Well done. Uh, congratulations and all the best for this new year. Thanks, Eugene. Uh, Professor Leslie Lagrange in Curriculum Studies, uh, also a, uh, a familiar face at this awards uh, ceremony uh, in the past. Um, Leslie, thank you for your massive contribution um, that you make at, at this university, also in terms of Curriculum Studies, your insight and your wisdom. Uh, it's much appreciated um, and uh, congratulations on the acknowledgement for publication units. Thank you very much, Professor Kluter. Then Dr. Yankomo Marwa, uh, he is he's with USB um, and he's recognized for PhDs delivered. Uh, it's very heartening uh, to see that uh, USB um, has uh, increased their research output over the past number of years under the leadership of uh, Professor Pit Nodier, who really uh, put an emphasis on research at our business school. And uh, we have seen the publication outputs grow, uh, the number of postdoctoral fellows grow uh, at USB, and also the number of PhDs delivered. So, uh, Dr. Marwa, uh, well done and congratulations. Thank you so much, Prof. Professor Robert uh, Marsh from the Faculty of Medicine and in Primary Care. Um, acknowledged for the number of publication and publication units. Uh, very keen supporter also uh, of the uh, new school for climate studies that we are about to launch later on uh, in this year. Uh, he's made a major, major contribution to the faculty, to the university, uh, and well done and congratulations, Professor Marsh. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Professor. Uh, Professor Mbaya uh, is uh, from S Systematic uh, Theology and Ecclesiology, um, and we recognize him for his contribution in terms of publication units. Uh, I want to remind you that the, uh, the, the cutoff point was 4.4 publication units. Uh, well done, uh, Professor Mbaya. Thanks for the contribution that you make, uh, and well done also to the faculty. 
for uh, for the for for for, for your uh, contributions. Congratulations. Thank you, Professor. Uh, Professor Yuan Muton, uh, who's of course with Crest, uh, but also the director of one of our centers of excellence, uh, SciStip. Um, and Yuan is recognized for the PhDs delivered. Uh, I've known Yuan for a very long time in many different capacities, also as chair of the advisory committee of SciStip, of his center of excellence. A uh, highly productive person, uh, makes a major contribution not only to the university, but also to science in South Africa and specifically science policy in South Africa. So, Johan, well done. Congratulations. Uh, you can count on continued support. Then, uh, Professor Tony Naidu, uh, we recognize him for PhDs delivered. Uh, Professor Tony Naidu is in the Department of Psychology. Uh, well done. Uh, congratulations. Uh, it is a pleasure to recognize you for your effort and for your output at Stellenbosch University. Then uh, it's a pleasure for me uh, also uh, to recognize Professor Linus uh, Opara. He's with Horticultural Science. Uh, we started, in fact, uh, at Stellenbosch University uh, in the same year. And uh, we shared a space there in the uh, the Perold building. Um, he had a fantastic laboratory that was just rigged out when I joined. And I sort of uh, was a squatter in his lab from time to time. I had a small lab in the one corner there uh, and often used his laboratory there. So we've been here for 12 years now, Linus. And uh, he's made major contributions, establishing an African Institute for Post-Harvest uh, disease and control, uh, very highly productive in terms of the number of publications and publication units. Always a pleasure to see you. Uh, great contribution. Congratulations, Linus. Uh, thank you very much, Eugene. I appreciate it. Professor Riesha uh, Pretorius uh, in uh, physiological sciences. Um, I remember very well, uh, first time we met uh, Professor Pretorius in my office. He was still working at some other university up there in the north. Uh, I think they call it the University of Pretoria. Um, but then uh, I immediately, when we had the discussion, um, realized uh, the contribution that you could make at Stellenbosch University. And eventually, I'm very, very pleased that you decided to join Stellenbosch University to bring your expertise here, to bring your productivity here, um, and uh, it, it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for the major contribution uh, that you make uh, in terms not only of research outputs, but also patents, uh, also student supervision, um, and also the company uh, that you have recently uh, set up uh, called BioCode. Um, well done and congratulations. Pleasure to recognize you for the number of publications and publication units. Thank you. Uh, Professor Dave uh, Richardson, uh, Center for Invasion Biology. Uh, Dave, uh, good morning. Good to see you here. Thanks for, for being here. Um, uh, absolute pleasure uh, to recognize you uh, for the uh, number of publication outputs. Um, Dave, um, I also chair uh, the CIB uh, steering committee and, and we've been together now also for on 12 years. Um, the thing about Dave is uh, that uh, not only does he publish good papers, is the impact. Um, he is, in fact, the only person that I know personally that has an H index of more than 100. Um, and that is an incredible achievement. Well done, Dave. Uh, also, one of our area scientists, we acknowledge you for the number of publications um, and well done. Thanks a lot, Eugene. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Hilda Ruiz, uh, who's with the Africa Open Institute. Uh, we recognize her uh, for a publication unit. The Africa Open Institute is an institute that started a number of years back with uh, the Mellon Foundation. Um, and uh, it has also been going from strength to strength. And part of that uh, is due to the very, very high uh, quality appointments and people that they have 
in the Institute, and Dr. Hilda Roos is no exception. And I congratulate her, congratulate her and also recognize her for publication units. Well done, uh, Dr. Roos. Thank you very much. Professor Simon Scarf uh, with Pediatrics and Child Health. Uh, good morning also to you. Uh, thanks for uh, being here uh, and joining us uh, for this uh, ceremony. Um, he has made a major contribution over many, many years at Stellenbosch University. This is also not his first time uh, that we recognize him for this. Uh, but again, it's a pleasure, uh, Professor Scarf, to recognize you for the number of publications uh, well done and all the best for 2021. Thank you, Professor. Professor Corona Skitte, who's with Industrial Engineering. Uh, nice to see you, Corona, uh, and uh, we acknowledge you for the number of PhDs delivered. Um, I've been watching uh, the department there in Industrial Engineering very closely over the past number of years. Um, and it is one of the most productive departments in the Faculty of Engineering. And it has to do with uh, contributions uh, from people like yourself and other excellent colleagues that work with you. But well done and congratulations. We acknowledge you for the PhDs delivered. Thank you, Professor, and to your amazing team. And I must also thank my PhDs who did all the hard work. Right, and then we have Professor Cara Schwartz. Uh, she's with Process uh, Engineering. Uh, she's in two categories, in fact, yeah, the publication units and PhDs delivered. Uh, I remember very well, uh, Professor uh, Schwartz, uh, when you did your uh, inaugural uh, lecture. Uh, this must be about two years ago already, if not more. I had the, uh, the honor of officiating um, that evening. And uh, so well done. Uh, you work with a good team, an excellent department, process engineering, one of the leading departments also uh, with all the programs you do, the external funding that uh, you are capable of bringing uh, to support your research. We acknowledge you in two categories, both for publication units and PhDs delivered. Uh, congratulations. Then Professor Soraya Sedat in uh, psychiatry, uh, there in two categories, number of publications and publication units, is one of our Saatchi chairholders. Uh, congratulations, Professor Sedat. Um, well done, a pleasure to acknowledge you. Then Professor Kareen Smith in physiological sciences. Uh, we acknowledge you, Kareen, in two categories for publication units and also for PhDs delivered. Um, and it's been con con consistent, uh, your output over a large number of years, at least the past 12 years that I've known you, um, and well done and congratulations. Hi, Danke. Professor Eric Strauss uh, in biochemistry, acknowledging for the uh, PhDs delivered. Um, I've known Eric probably longer than anyone else here in the room. Uh, in fact, he was one of my uh, first year students but way back uh, at the uh, University of Pretoria when I was still there. Um, and I already saw the potential in him as a student. And he has absolutely lived up to the expectation. Uh, Eric, you're, uh, you're, you're one of our great uh, scientists at Stellenbosch University. Uh, congratulations uh, with this achievement. We acknowledge you today for PhDs delivered. Uh, well done and congratulations. Bye, thank you, James. Bye, David. Bye. Uh, Professor Leslie Swart, uh, who is also in, uh, well, was with the Department of Psychology. Uh, Leslie was also awarded last year the uh, Academy of Science of South Africa Gold Medal, uh, acknowledging uh, his contribution uh, nationally. And of course, his contribution, as we know, is also internationally. Uh, Leslie, if today for me it is a great pleasure and honor to acknowledge you for the number of publications and publication unit outputs. Uh, congratulations. And then Professor Mark Tomlinson, uh, he's with the Institute for Health. Uh, 
course, live the research. Um, Mark, also good to have you here today. Um, and I would like to congratulate you uh, with the number of publications um, that you also constantly deliver uh, and, the, and also acknowledge you for the major other contributions that you make here at Stellenbosch University. Well done, congratulations. Thank you, Professor. Uh, Professor Willem van Otterloo uh, in the Department of Chemistry and Polymer Sciences. Uh, Willem, I remember way back when you started, uh, you were one of the, uh, I think, one of the first people that uh, we recruited and appointed when I was Dean of the Faculty at the time. Um, and you came to the Faculty and you had uh, really major plans and good plans, a good vision of where you wanted to go with your research. And you have lived up to those plans and that expectation. Uh, today we acknowledge you for the PhDs delivered. Uh, well done and congratulations. Thanks, Eugene. Much appreciated. Then we have Dr. Samantha von Skaltweg in psychology. Uh, Samantha, uh, we congratulate you today and acknowledge you for the publication unit outputs. Uh, you'll see that there have already been uh, a number of uh, our colleagues from the Department of Psychology receiving um, the recognition today. Uh, excellent uh, department, and I think there's a lot of pressure there uh, to, uh, to, 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 to perform, uh, and uh, they live up to those expectations. Well done, and congratulations. Uh, Professor Jan van Vieren, uh, he is in the Department of Industrial Engineering. Uh, today we recognize Jan for PhDs delivered. Um, he's been a, a, a stalwart uh, in the faculty over many years, an anchor, uh, making major contributions there. Well done, Jan, uh, and uh, congratulations. Uh, it's also my honor and privilege to acknowledge Professor Gideon van Seyl, uh, who's with civil engineering. Uh, Professor van Seyl, we acknowledge you today for PhDs delivered and also a, a fantastic career as a civil engineer, made major contributions and still make major contributions in the faculty, but also to the industry in South Africa. Uh, many, many uh, of the uh, civil engineers look up to him for advice. Um, and for his insights, uh, Gideon, it's an absolute pleasure for me to acknowledge you and to congratulate you, and thanks for being here. Thank you very much. Uh, Professor Renel Fenter, uh, who's in the Department of Sports Science. Uh, today we acknowledge you, um, Renel, for the number of PhDs delivered. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's great uh, to have students uh, that complete their PhDs, as you know, but in sports science, I think you are uh, setting a very good example and also um, you uh, are helping uh, everyone and especially the younger people that look up to you there uh, as a mentor and as a role model uh, in terms of how to build their careers. I know a, a number of the young people there um, and they speak very highly of you uh, and congratulations with this achievement. Thank you, Prof. Kluter. I appreciate it. Uh, Professor Yusuf Wahid, um, who is with uh, the Department of Education and Policy Studies. Um, again, uh, Professor Wahid, uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you are one of the recipients now for the ninth year in a row. Uh, well deserved. Uh, today we recognize you in two categories for the publication units and also for the PhDs uh, delivered. Uh, a wise man. Uh, someone that understands higher education, understands policy studies, someone that means a lot, uh, also outside of just his own uh, department to the university. Uh, always good to hear uh, what he thinks. And a uh, great philosopher, uh, Professor Wahid, uh, well done and congratulations. Then Professor uh, Cheryl uh, Walker, who's with the Department of Sociology and Social Anthropology. Uh, it's also good to acknowledge you, uh, Cheryl, 
one of our Saatchi chairs uh, for the number of PhDs delivered. Uh, we often have good discussions, especially when it comes to the environment um, and when it comes to my own passion, which is water. Uh, nice to, to have you and well done and congratulations. Professor Gerard uh, Walsel. Uh, Gerard, uh, thank you also for being in the meeting today. Uh, easy uh, to acknowledge you uh, and a great pleasure for the number of publication units. Um, Gerard has played a major contribution uh, in uh, the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences, uh, but nationally uh, he's making even a bigger contribution uh, in terms of the work that they do on uh, tuberculosis, um, and uh, in the CBTR, he played a major role as director there for many years. Um, he plays a very important role in our advisory group that we now have on COVID, the medical advisory group. I appreciate your contributions also there, Gerard. A real pleasure to acknowledge you for the wonderful work and the wonderful scientist that you are, and we acknowledge you today for the number of publications. Well done. Thank you, Professor Klute. And then uh, also a great pleasure for me and honor to acknowledge uh, Professor Rob Warren, who's in molecular biology and in human genetics. Uh, and, and we acknowledge uh, also uh, Rob uh, for the number of publications. Uh, Rob, I absolutely recall seeing you at this event uh, annually, uh, virtually for the past number of years. Always good to interact with you uh, as a fellow uh, microbiologist. Um, and. Uh, I have fond memories also of your lectures, uh, especially your, uh, your inaugural lecture. Uh, well done, uh, and thank you for the major contribution that you also make uh, to Stellenbosch University and beyond. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Eugene. So colleagues, I think this brings us to the end uh, of the awards uh, and recognition. Uh, again, uh, my uh, congratulations to all of the recipients uh, of these awards. I also want to thank uh, the deans um, that are here today and that are here to help acknowledge these wonderful achievements of their staff in the faculties. I want to thank them for their support uh, to everyone here. I also want to acknowledge the role uh, that the Division for Research Development plays, Tarina and your team. Um, the one thing I know that if I go through the list of distinguished uh, recipients, um, that they speak highly of the support that they receive from the division uh, for research development. Um, you unashamedly and unconditionally support them any time of the day, uh, year, weekends, whenever that is necessary. And I want to thank you for that and acknowledge you for that. And colleagues, I also want to thank all of you for being here. Uh, today, like Terina said, uh, it would have been pretty good now to sit down and have a nice TS meal or at some other great venue in Stellenbosch, have a bit of champagne, uh, drink a glass of wine, uh, look forward to the weekend and enjoy the weekend. So I'm going to greet all of you. Uh, thank you again uh, and uh, all the best. It is just about weekend. Uh, enjoy the weekend. Uh, stay safe for a little while still. Um, let's help to break the neck of this virus until we all get vaccinated. And uh, all the best. Congratulations and thank you for your attention. <laughs>